Hey guys, what is up? And Shadowlands back for another review. Today I'm going to be doing the K7, possibly the most underrated SMG in the entire game. A lot of times people will kind of decide would I rather have this gun or the K1A and honestly I do like this gun a little bit more the K1A is still a fantastic weapon but I like this one more for the type of use it is uh, type of uses it has it's one of the very first weapons in the entire game to have a rate of fire of 90 keep in mind this is a GP weapon that gets unlocked super early at private first class that is one of the very first ranks you get it's like the third rank I think uh, third or fourth, something like that. Anyway, it does have a pre-attached suppressor, which is incredibly. It, it, this is such an oddball weapon. I would never expect this to be such a low rank weapon, to be honest. It has a very low damage of 30. However, it is customizable in the Gun Emporium, so you can get that damage up to 33. I don't believe the rate of fire is customizable. The accuracy is only a base 62, uh, but the first shot is pretty accurate, so you're able to typically aim your headshots pretty well. The reload is only average. It's not fast or slow. And same with the spread recovery, it's not super fast or super slow, it's just kind of right in the middle. The overall spread is pretty small, but it's not the smallest in the game, so I mean, I mean, keep in mind, this is a very, very low rank weapon, so it can't be too OP, but to be completely honest, this is a weapon I would consider taking into competitive gameplay just for how OP it is. It's only fully automatic, doesn't have a, a burst mode, or a single fire like the K1A has. Uh, customizable with a magazine and a scope and customizable in the gun emporium for damage as far as I know. I don't know if it's customizable for accuracy or rate of fire. For some reason I feel like it's not, but I know it is customizable for damage, so getting that damage up to 33 is definitely worth your time. And uh, once again, I would suggest an iTech scope for this because the spread is very, very small. It will go up like for the first four shots, and the first four shots will make contact. One of the downsides to this gun is that it has a pretty low... Uh, uh, damage drop. Sorry, a pretty high damage drop off. So at longer ranges, you will barely. You might as well be tickling them. It's not even really going to hurt them. So just pointing that out there. I suppose I should probably go over the stats by now. Stats base: damage of 30, portability of 80, rate of fire of 90, accuracy of 62, and recoil of 67. So the damage as a base 30 is quite low, but if you customize it for the 33, that makes it a little more worthwhile, especially considering there's an integrated silencer, which is also quite useful. Portability of 80. That's a very portable uh, little gun. There, it's incredibly nice to have. A lot of the newer age uh, NX uh, typical, oh, I'm sorry, <laughs> can't speak today. NX SMGs have a portability of about 90, 88 to 90, somewhere in there. So the 80 portability is small considering what's the standard today. But if you keep in mind this gun is a very old favorite from Combat Arms and that it is also a low rank GP weapon, it's pretty darn good. If you're starting the game with this thing, you know you're starting the game right and you're going to do pretty well. I would say one of the two best setups you could have is either this with an L9, or this with a M416, or this with a G36. Any of that kind of combination would make a really nice setup with this weapon. Uh, that's what I would just say personally. With a rate of fire at 90, you can cover so much ground so fast, and with the really small spread on this weapon, it's just so easy to cover quickly. You're, you can spray with this weapon, do so much damage so quickly. It's not great for accolades, though, because of the high rate of fire of 90. What's true with any weapon is you will run through your magazine super fast and you will run out of ammo just so fast it's not even funny so just keep that in mind and with the accuracy only at 62 spraying this hardcore at any kind of medium range or above is going to be incredibly unwise you need to switch to an assault rifle or sniper rifle for that case you want to keep this within a shotgun range type use so um, imagine a shotgun and then get within the range that you would use a shotgun then start using this weapon even with the silencer and if it's a spread out map like rattlesnake or something then you should probably consider you know taking out one person at a time but for tapping one or two shots at medium range or closer it's easy to get your shots to land pretty much every time so just use it with discretion and yeah I would say you probably don't want to use this uh, for junk flea or really small maps because even though it has a silencer people are still going to get your presence and you will run out of ammo super fast like I said before so be careful, and since the reload's not as fast as another gun like the Uzi or the MAC-10, uh, you may want to be a little bit careful about that. I guess that helps balance out the gun since it has the integrated silencer. If you're looking for a gun to use more on the uh, Junk Flea and OMA side of games, you may want to consider using one of those other two that I mentioned. Um, they're going to be more worth your time, in my opinion. But if you're looking at larger maps, this is an SMG built for a larger map, despite the damage drop-off. Just the style of gun with the silencer and the type of recoil being just pretty much straight up and down for the first four to five shots. It's just it's just useful that way. That's how I find the gun best use. Of course, everyone's got their own playing style, so I'm hardly one to judge. If you can only put an ACOG scope on this, it's really up to you. I don't find this gun useful for tapping super long ranges, and the range on SMGs is quite limited as it is. So just please keep that in mind. It's just 
SMGs are not meant for long range, and their range, like physical range for the bullet that the bullet can go, is quite limited, so just please keep that in mind. You can also equip a magazine to this gun, and if you are really planning on going in for high accolades, an extended magazine too is the way to go. The reco uh, the I mean, sorry, the reload is already only mediocre, so making it a whole lot worse isn't really going to make it make the gun less usable. Since if you're not getting your kills with this weapon that fast at the range you should be using it, you've got something wrong. And if you're not using this, if, if it's not working, if this gun's not working out for you, I suggest one of two things. One, go practice with the Uzi. That's another very high fire rate weapon. The MAC-10 is another good example, but it has higher recoil, so just kind of keep that in mind. Uh, maybe try using the uh, Uzi with the, uh, uh, sorry, not the Uzi, the MAC-10 with the iTech scope or the ACOG. I guess if you only have access to the ACOG scope, part of the reason you might be using this weapon is because you're low rank, so that's another thing. Not to say high ranks can't use this weapon, because it's a really, really nice weapon to use. It's fun, but that's just my own personal opinion. All in all, I would say pretty much everyone should try this weapon at some point. It's super cheap. It's like 800 and something GP per day. Uh, looking at the wiki, 850 per day. So that's incredibly small. Uh, for seven days, it's just over 4,000. It's like 4,200 GP. It's totally worth trying. Um, even if you can't customize it, I would say this gun is still worth trying. I would actually say to conserve your, if you're conserving your customization parts, try the gun. If you like it a lot, go ahead and upgrade it because it's only going to get better. If you don't like it so much, then uh, obviously that's your own choice and you don't want to use the gun. But if you actually can't be good enough with it with just the base 30 damage, you probably shouldn't be using this weapon, just saying. Uh, yeah. Now obviously I'm also trying to, you know, favor this weapon over the other ones that I've got with me, so, you know, I'm just being picky about what I've got here. And I'm using it at ranges that you probably shouldn't be using this weapon at, but that's part of the review. You want to see what kind of damage it's going to do at any kind of range. I do use my F2000 a little bit, but it's mostly as a telescope and to actually see what's going on back in the base. Uh, not really my K7, but really fun gun to use. It's not going to score the highest in the world, but it's definitely going to get some good marks. I mean, there's so much to use this gun for. It's good for larger maps, which is kind of surprising, just the way you want to use the gun. It's kind of like carrying in a shot, like I said before, it's carrying in a shotgun to a uh, larger map, like Kill Creek or something, or at least one that has cover like this. A lot of maps like these have cover. This is a great, it's just a great, great, great gun for that. Now, what I don't know, and if any of you guys know, I'd be interested to know, is what kind of silencer is on this gun? It doesn't look like any of the other silencers available in the game. It doesn't look like an S2, S1, S3. If I had to make a guess, I would say it's an S1, because the recoil on this gun seems pretty low. But, you know, it could be an S2, and I kind of don't think it's an S3, because it doesn't have that red stripe on it, and it doesn't have the little muzzles uh, that reduce flash on the outside, the little holes. So I was just kind of looking at that thinking, eh, I don't think it's an S3, but that's just, I don't know, I, I have no idea. So if you guys want to think about that, uh, go philosophize, philosophize, whatever, I, I don't know how to say that word. Uh, go philosophize about that in the comment section, and uh, don't drop any drama, just drop some comments, drop some likes. And uh, I'm kind of running out of things to say here, so I'm just kind of rambling. I know you guys may have uh, understood that already, but to be honest, I can imagine myself carrying this into a clan war. I, I might actually do that. I'm going to carry this into a clan war and see how well I do. I'll post it in the comments section eventually after I decide to do that clan war. So That's about all I really have to say about the gun. It's all I have to say for today. I'm just kind of stalling for the last 30 seconds until this video is over. Oh, that was an awesome 18th kill right there. I'm just going to stall for a minute. Toss a couple of grenades in here. I got this! I got this! I got this! Come on, get a kill, get a kill. Oh, I didn't get a kill. Okay, well, that's about all the time I have for a review today, guys. Thank you for watching. Please rate, comment, subscribe. Check out some more videos. Check out some of my recommended channels. I recommend them for a reason. It means I like the videos myself, and I've spent some time watching. Or at least that's what I would like to say, but most of these... Uh, no, I'm kidding, guys. Yes, I've actually watched some of the videos that I have on my recommended channels list. I recommend you guys check them out, too. The word recommended is one of my favorite words for today. And I will see you guys in the next video. Shadowlance out.